Hi, my name is Millen. I work here at Olafi Love in the technical support department. So I've probably spoken to you if you've got any sort of technical issues. But uh, today we're going to be covering the uh, Panarella wand assembly, which is a frothing device, which is used on the most of the Gaja, smaller uh, semi-automatic machines, and the, some of the Saeco brand machines as well. Um, so if you want to come and take a look uh, at the components uh, that make up the, the Panarella wand, uh, generally you'll have a nut cap at the top. Um, there, below that will be a harder um, plastic gasket, it's just a small piece there, and then there's going to be a softer rubber gasket below that, and then that goes into the center portion, and just fits right down inside there, um, and then when everything's put together on the, uh, the actual wand on the machine, uh, it compresses together to hold it on tightly, and then below that you'll generally have a sleeve, they come in different shapes and sizes, so we can look at putting one of these on the machine itself. So if we have, this one's a stainless steel version, um, so the top cap is stainless, and it's got the same pieces inside, it has the harder plastic gasket, and then the rubber gasket is actually down inside there right now. But uh, if you're putting this on the machine, you want to install, push, push the cap up as far as you can on there, um, then bring up that harder, uh, uh, harder plastic gasket, and then if you bring up the rest of the wand, you can actually just kind of pop it together. You want to push it up as high as you can and then tighten down the cap. That cap is what will actually both make the seal on there and hold the Panarello onto the arm so it doesn't fly off when you go to steam. Um, and then basically you can remove the, the bottom sleeve part to clean it off. Uh, you want to maintain, there's a small air hole on most of the Panarello wands which allows for the uh, aeration of the milk. So if you're just getting hot milk and you're not getting any froth or foam, um, it's usually that hole is plugged. Uh, the other thing that could cause that, there is an insert, which is actually in the, the bottom of that sleeve. Uh, you might be able to see it a little bit better from this angle. So um, You just want to make sure that that's pushed all the way down. Sometimes when you're cleaning it, it gets pushed up inside. As long as it's sticking out of the end uh, about that far, um, that should make it aerate the milk as well. So those are the two key factors that cause that to uh, just create hot milk instead of foam. Um, but once you've got that on there, it makes it a lot easier to froth. And um, there's, they fit on several different machines. Um, there are a few different types. The stainless is a little bit nicer, nicer looking, um, easier to maintain over time. And also, uh, you'll find with the plastic sometimes, uh, if you, you know, it makes it, uh, the longevity is a little bit better with the stainless steel. Um, so that's nicer that way as well. Um, but there are several different types. You can also get the, we offer the Latte Art wand, which the center portion on here is longer, so that allows you to get further down into the pitcher, as well as having only a single hole on the bottom, which allows you to create better microfoam. If you want to do Latte Art, where you make, um, you know, pictures in your, uh, in your drink with the, the milk, this will give you that tighter foam so that it actually holds together. Um, it gives you that ability. It's more like a commercial uh, steam arm when you install that. So that's uh, another option you can get on our website. But uh, if you have any issues with those, installing them, or uh, any sort of frothing issues, technique questions, give us a call here. I'd be happy to help you out. You can speak with myself or anybody else in technical support. But thank you.